Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Meera, your study abroad advisor and today I am with Ms. Katerin Karvia who is the Deputy Director of International Relationships and Projects Department at CU. So the building you see behind me is Caucasus University. Uh, this is situated in the capital city of Georgia that is Tbilisi. If you are planning for your MBBS abroad, for your medicine abroad, then Georgia and Caucasus University is something that I recommend to you. Because this university is recognized by WHO, uh, it's recognized by NMC and is also ECFMG accredited. So today, uh, Ms. Katrin Karbaya, she will be uh, giving us the campus tour of the university. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because we have more of such videos where I will be talking to the students and they'll be, uh, they'll be telling about their views and experience that they have in this university. So, Thank you very much, Mira, uh, for visiting our university and it's a great pleasure for me to have an opportunity to host you and show our beautiful campus. Uh, as you see, CU located in a historical building uh, which was initially built in 1909. Uh, primarily, here was Armenian Theological Seminary. That's why university looks like a church. Afterwards, one of the campuses of Georgian Technical University and then Research Center. The purpose of this building always was educational. From 2005, it's under Caucasus University's ownership, but it was almost destroyed and it was really difficult to remain this historical atmosphere and it was under reconstruction for more than 10 years and we moved to this building only 2017. Please follow me, I would like to show you the main entrance. This is our main entrance. And I would like to use this opportunity and uh, show you one of the most important spaces for students. Please follow. This is our Student Service Center, A1. We have exactly the same room in the opposite side. So this is the, the most important space for students in order to get all services and all information related to the academic process. Examination, classes, courses, or anything. So they can enter this room and ask about anything they are interested in. So, so we have um, academic managers with universal qualifications who are responsible for everything, but as far as international students are top priority for us, we have several academic managers who are responsible specifically for international students. So we have exchange and um, degree risking students, so both of these uh, groups are, um, of course, under, under this um, uh, service uh, center. And I would like to introduce my colleague, Nanuki, who is the academic manager of uh, international students. And she's the, the main contact person for uh, international students regarding the academic process. Thank you, Nanuki, for your great job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let me show you the cafeteria. This is our cafeteria. Uh, the capacity of this cafeteria is 300 persons at the same time. We do not outsource anything. We produce our own meal and we try to take into consideration the diversity we have in terms of international students. And the prices are very reasonable. have uh, 10 schools and 45 academic programs 
And as far as practical knowledge and practice-based education is for priority for us, we have at least one practical lab for each school. And uh, I will show you some of the labs. Here we have, for example, painting studio for architecture program. Architecture lab. Electronic laboratory for IT school. Um, maximum number of students are 25. We do not have big groups because we think that face-to-face -face communication and small groups are more important for, for students. Yes, yes. Okay, we have these kind of spaces for students almost everywhere. So here you can see the whole history of the university pictures of the graduation ceremony from the very beginning. Actually, the university was established in 98 for the US government. And you see in the, in the first picture, there are representatives of uh, Georgia State University Atlanta was the, the founder of uh, Caucasus University. Uh, and as you see, number of students are increasing and increasing year to year and last two graduations we celebrated here in that this camp. Yeah. <laughs> this is the main conference hall. We use this space to organize different kinds of academic and um, cultural activities. Usually we organize international students welcome session here in this conference hall. Uh, the capacity of this hall is 500 person at the same time. And of course it's, it's fully equipped with all the technical um, uh, aspects. And uh, yeah. This is one of the most beautiful part of our campus. Uh, the chandelier is made specifically for our university by Swarovski. Yeah, this is like small, small version of the university. Uh, seven undergraduate to graduate to PhD program and also we have newly established joint degree programs three undergraduate and uh, one uh, graduate so we are very active in terms of um, internationalization that's like for priority for us okay let's move to the library Most of these rooms are for our staff members and different um, recent research centers and training centers as well. Yeah, this is a small lead cafe which is part of the library. And this is our library. We have two floors. Yeah. 
all the subject books in English, not just in English. Yes. And yes, the second floor we have PC computers for students and also spaces for individual friends.